actually, the icicles don't fall by themselves when they're hanging suspended like that. Mm -hmm. They'll melt completely away before they fall. If I take a ski pole and they'll fall. Or if they're on the edge of a roof that collects heat, they'll fall. Mm -hmm. But ice hanging on ice, in fact, this, this archway, if, if we didn't knock it down, or if we just let it put in its course, you come out every day and it would just get thinner and thinner. It would never collapse. Oh, okay. It just, it just receives just in melts order. and drips. So that was, we watched that go last year. This tower will go up another 15 feet. You can walk behind it. But this, this would be... You should do an ice skating rink in here. Uh, <laughs> I even thought about it. I yeah. really thought about it. Yeah, so the water is, see, so you got a pipe going up the center. You get to cover with the ice right now. Mm -hmm. But the center one is an ice sickle or a, a water pipe, and all these ones going around the outside is a new layer of ice, which will tee and cross together the next time we run the water, which may be Monday because we didn't spend. So is it? Are those all pipes? That no, it's all icicles. Oh. There's a few pipes here and there. There's a few pipes, but all this stuff, you know, like if you look over there, you see a brand new layer of icicles on top of that wall straight ahead. Uh -huh. And what we run water for one night, and they look like either this, or if it's really cold, they get big and fat like this next layer over there. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we cross them together. You see how they're crisscrossing that cascade down. Then we climb up on that and put another layer in. So wow. that's kind of the progression of it. You see, we're wow. going up a layer on this guy over there. Mm -hmm. uh, conceivably, in two days, we can have icicles three, four, five, six feet above that if it's really cold and we're really putting a lot of work into it. It is super laborious. So, so are uh, you pumping the water out of the stream? No, we're using uh, city water. We can't pump water because if the pump malfunctions, the pipes will freeze and it'll be shut down. Mm -hmm. So this will go about another two days and we'll start reaching these together. And, and eventually this will be a bridge that runs between this one, this one, and that one. And so you'll come in here, it'll be so much different. But you come in here and you'll have, you can run out that passageway or out mm -hmm. this one and takes you into this little, you know, this will be a wall that actually, these walls will be overhead, you won't really be able to see much of anything except maybe some of the further towers. And uh, you see, this is a sample of what we Holy cow! Yeah. So you got a crack. You a bobcat in here? Big bobcat, yeah. And a little sister. And a, and a track hoe. Wow. And four jackhammers and about and some crampons. Oh, yeah, see, this is, this is the worst <laughs> part of the trail, so they're earning their money. This got, but I'm is this the biggest you've done or are doing? It's going to be the best. You did it's about Utah the same footprint as last year. But was it's, Utah last yeah. year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we've, we've done some things, um, like the walls right off the get go, these walls are more developed. And, um, I just think it's going to be a way better experience than last year. So what you do is you come out right here, you have, you know, kind of an archway, and you'll come out, and as you come out, this thing will just keep going up and up and up as you come out. Do you this ever let people on the second level, or it's all... Only employees. Okay. We're really good friends. Yeah. These, with yeah. By next Saturday, these towers will be closed up, and you'll just have light coming out of the tunnels. <laughs> and eventually this one, I think we'll hit 50 feet very easily. We've done 40 before, but this is... The biggest by so far. What is it now? Like 20? Not even. Not even that. It looks. I'll, I'll, I'll let you think so. <laughs> okay. No, I, I don't think it's more than. Uh, I don't think it's even. It might be 15. So 50 feet, if you can imagine. Yeah. When you, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have these where you come out and you keep looking up and you keep looking mm -hmm. up and, and I'm, I'm excited. Um, but this will be the coolest part of the year because you'll come in and, and, and as it grows. We, we have to chop the walls back every day, you know, for a long time because they just grow out and out. We keep cutting them, and as we cut, as the water, as the walls get thicker on the inside, it turns super blue, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. really, like, really deep blue. Like a glacier. And and they take on a real glassy sheen. So we'll chop this back as it grows. And see, these will be overhead. This will be solid overhead ice. So you'd be looking up and just like, I sit and uh. down here. So does the water spray? It sprays out. Yeah, yeah it sprays out. We have right here in this tower we have eight sprinkler heads. They spray and overlap. And you can see so how you're gonna have going. to do this almost every day. Yeah, yeah, twenty to twenty five man hours every morning when we open. We but should this is have a bar thing. back in here so the adults can have a little yeah. beverage while the kids are running around. Keep, keep, keeping people on their feet already. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Just a thought. Uh,
Bad idea. Right here, and you won't see anything. Oh, yeah. oh, you haven't seen it. It'll be like glass. And you'll feel like you can reach your hand into a like, like into a, a core. I mean, it's just beautiful blue. But right here, you'll be looking up. It'll all be just this amazing blue, and it'll be covered. I mean, this will be a high, kind of a high arching ceiling with tunnels going off. You know, it would be wow. really a cool experience. So, I, I'm I'm excited. It just we just need a lot of hours still mm -hmm. into it. But I'm excited how it's turning out. We're going to widen the walkways a little bit uh, eventually. Mm -hmm. But we we wanted. I haven't ever done one a tower like this. But eventually, this will be an experience where you come in here. You don't see where you came in. You won't see which way you to the outside. It'll just be blue. So you have to like, send someone in at night to make sure yeah. everyone gets out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take a few steps and you can see daylight. But it's, and then next time we go up there, we crisscross them horizontally and put verticals on top of that. How did they stay? And then spray water on them. Okay. They freeze pretty quick. Then we spray water and they turn really thick like that. We put another layer. And then we put all those inside layers to climb on with icicles coming out in formations. And then we can walk on those wow. horizontal icicles after a couple of days, which is really amazing. So you can see on this one, you really see the layers. Mm -hmm. And as it snows, you get kind of these pillowy things, and they crystal over. That's really cool. I'm going to let you guys just enjoy yeah, it. i got to go. Great. Thanks, thanks so much. Awesome. I, did, I had no idea that the uh, had to go through. It is a lot of work, and I question my sanity. <laughs> but I've got some really good hard workers and, um, and a good wife. I'm glad uh, Silverthorne wanted to do it. I am too.